Shaped by the ideals of leaders and visionaries, California has been at the frontiers of innovation, education, and liberal democracy in the United States since the beginning of the gold rush. This is the story of one such leader whose contributions helped create and preserve the UC system so that it would remain a national hallmark of higher education. As a woman of selfless determination, great moral conscience, and impeccable attention to detail, Dorothy Everett embodied all of the qualities that helped make the UC a success. Born in 1920, Dorothy grew up in Wisconsin. After earning her bachelor's degree from the University of Wisconsin in 1942, Dorothy enlisted in the U.S. Women's Army Corps during World War II, where she quickly climbed the ranks to captain in just three years. Stationed in occupied Japan, Dorothy gained a deep appreciation for Japanese art and culture, which she carried with her throughout the remainder of her life. Upon her return home to Wisconsin, Dorothy earned a master's degree in counseling personnel and began her career in administration at the UC, one of the few places where women could enjoy influential leadership opportunities. By 1954, she had risen to the office of the president in time to help shape the UC mission and master plan that placed the UC system as the first public universal education system in America. The master plan for higher education in California really was almost a revolutionary concept. And it was a concept that said basically that every high school student that wanted a college education and was willing to make an effort to get that education ought to have the opportunity. That really was revolutionary. It never had happened in any other state or as far as I know in any other country. And it was behind it was kind of a, I think, a double belief. One was that to get ahead in this life, you really had to be educated. And also, I think there was an understanding that societies that get ahead are those that have an educated workforce. Clark Kerr's vision of education for all changed the landscape of California's higher education system. It was designed to function as one cohesive tiered system of community colleges, state colleges, and universities in California, which led the way for the rest of the nation. Dorothy Everett really was an enormously practical person. A Midwestern common sense to the nth degree. And um, it's really important to have people like that around who don't have another agenda except how do we make this the best place we possibly can. These qualities earned her the title of assistant president, which made her the highest ranked female employee in UC history. Dorothy remained in the UC system for nearly 30 years. After retirement, she continued to mentor and meet with longtime colleagues such as Robert Headley and Ruth Burns, who became lifelong friends until her death in 2003. In order to preserve the legacy of Dorothy Everett and her commitment to higher education in California, an endowed chair was created in Dorothy Everett's name. The funds will be used to support the Everett Program, previously the Global Information Internship Program, dedicated to teaching undergraduates to use digital tools for social innovation. If the university were able to have more programs like the JEEP Program, where they got students out in the real world doing real things, learning, benefiting of course themselves personally, but also benefiting the community, that would be tremendously helpful. It would get advantages to the students, advantages to the community, and also it would, over the longer term, bring support from the community to the university. Dorothy would have really appreciated the kind of work that the students in the program do and the kind of experience that they get is the kind of thing that creates people like Dorothy Everett that are able to do so much more than the average person can do. Bridging the gap between the president's office and a really extraordinary, unique program at UC Santa Cruz is the kind of thing that needs to happen. And I hope this chair does a little bit of that.
Dorothy Everett continues to make history as the first UC administrative staff member to ever be honored with an endowed chair.